Barry Farms is not what it sounds like. It's an all-black housing project in one of the poorest parts of Washington. The boys formed the band because, well, because they didn't have anything else to do. It gives them something to do, you know? Cause like in the neighborhood, you know, when it gets dark, they don't have anything to do. You know, a lot of kids, when they don't have nothing to do, they get a lot of mischief. <laughs> 21-year-old Derek McCray got them organized and set the rules. The boys must maintain a C average in school and must have their parents' permission to play. Man, oh man. It's no secret that over the years, Junkyard Band took some losses as far as band members. But no matter what, they bounced back and kept that crank going. And my first introduction to Go-Go as a kid was the record Sardines, and I was hooked from that moment. So, it's interesting to see Junkyard playing on buckets in the house and Bury Farms as kids, man, and that raw element early on, shaping that sound and just to think how far they come. Life happens, members passed on, and not just them, but other bands also. The fact that they still standing is a testament to the dedication. That's one thing I could say about Go-Go, as far as the bands who are known throughout the city, throughout the DMV area. These guys them been through a lot and they made it past it, man. That's a testament. The culture still here, still standing today. It's so much history, man. They was playing on buckets, literally, to signing with Def Jam at one point, actually getting a deal. That don't even happen in Go Go anymore. And that TV One Go Go documentary was overall a great documentary. It told the Go Go story, but I think bands like Junkyard, Back. Especially T.O.B. because T.O.B., they represent an era of go-go that's misunderstood and underrepresented. But I feel they all need individual documentaries because the TV One joint had to cram a lot into it by covering so many bands. Whereas with individual documentaries on, say, Junkyard First, they could spend more time telling the story piece by piece from the background of each member in the beginning to developing the sound, the trials and tribulations, everything. It's too bad TV One couldn't do a full season where they each get two hour episodes like the hip hop documentaries on Netflix. They went from region to region. I don't know everything about Junkyard, but I know enough to be able to say they got a hell of a story for real. Junkyard. The good jump. And now, ladies and gentlemen, from the corner of 19th and M Streets Northwest in beautiful downtown Washington, D.C., the famous, the fabulous Barry Farms Junkyard Band. <laughs> 